morning. So this morning I have a little special treat that I wanted to, uh, wanted to show you guys and kind of apply it to um, some things of the church. Um, so uh, let me get those things ready here, but uh, we have here just a whole bunch of little things that we're going to do. Is you guys doing good this morning? Yeah? So everybody that's not here, shame, shame on you. <laughs> we're having fun here this morning. So I want you guys to imagine that this bowl right here, this is our ourselves. This is you, okay? And so what the Lord does, what God does, is that he gives us the breath of life. So this water is going to represent our lives. So we're, we're full right there. Okay, so now do you guys consider yourselves good kids? Are you good kids? Yeah, pretty good. I mean, kind of, right? So it just all depends on like what we say is good. So, you know, when we think about it in the context of the church, so in order for us to stand in the presence of God, to be in God's presence, we have to be like this, where we're, where it's the water is clear, there's nothing obstructing it, right? But there's one problem, that everybody has fallen short of the glory of God. So what, what is that thing that we say that, you know, um, that, make, that sets us apart from God? What are the... What's the, it's in our hearts. Sin, that's right. So that's going to be the pepper here. So just like sin, when it enters into our lives, do you guys think you could pick that out by your hand to make that all clear it up? That's really hard, right? So like the Bible shows us that we all sin and that there's nothing that we can do on our own to make sure that we're all clean and blameless before God. So that's pretty grim, right? I can't do anything about this, so I guess I'm separated from God forever. Do you guys feel that's true? Do you think that's true? No, it's not true. That's right. So Jesus, and this is Dawn, <laughs> but, but Jesus, his blood and his life, what he does for us, just a simple tap of his blood. What's that do? Look at that. Did you see what just happened? What happened? Everybody in the congregation can't see. What happened to all the, the pepper? Did it go <laughs> spread out, right? So it, through the blood of Jesus, those who call on Jesus' name, who for, ask for forgiveness and repents from their sin, they are considered blameless because of Jesus. So through Jesus is our way to God again, to be in the presence of God. So when he sees us, he sees his son, and not all these specks that are sitting out here on the side. So we have to remember that we must always follow and trust in Jesus. He has to be in our hearts in order for us to be considered blameless in front of God. So let's ask God to help us um, and to have Jesus enter in our hearts and to recognize the sin that we have and so that we could be better, better Christians. Okay? You can pray with me. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus. We thank you um, that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father but through him. We just pray that you help us uh, to recognize that we our sinful people, that um, we, we cannot get to you by ourselves, by our good deeds, by our works, because we have all fallen short. And we pray, Lord, that you uh, stir into our hearts to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, to, to know and believe that he had died for our sins and that he has risen again, and so that our lives be now transformed and changed, just like this water, Lord. So that the specks of pepper in our life, that sin, that it be fully removed and that you only see Jesus when you see us. We pray that you help us in this in every day. And it's in your son's name that we pray. And all kids say, Amen. Amen.